Good morning, class. It's Way Back Wednesday, and I'm Abby Lorbecki. And I'm Yolanda Morrison, and this is your KWHS News. College visits have started again, and this is the lineup so far. Next Tuesday, on January 31st, Western State Colorado University will be in the lower commons at 9 a.m. Kick off your Valentine's Day celebration by checking in with the college rep from UCCS on February 14th. Of course, if you are interested in attending the Shadron State College in Nebraska, mark your calendar for February 15th to meet with them at 9 a.m. in the Lower Commons. For those of you who are Greeley bound, the University of Northern Colorado will be here on March 8th. Remember to sign up at the Counseling Center for your hall pass, and while you're there, check out other schools coming to visit soon. You can also access their website for other important college-related information. Seniors! Senior shirts are now available for $15. Get yours now and wear it for the senior panoramic photo on February 8th. Students, Renaissance applications are now available on the School Wires page under Activities. If you are currently in Renaissance, you will need to reapply for the second semester. Freshmen are now able to apply. Turn in your applications to Miss Sardinia in room 130 no later than February 3rd. Glads, if you have not purchased your yearbooks, the price is now $65. Buy your yearbooks in the business office or go to yearbookforever.com. Speaking of yearbook, if you are interested in joining the team that makes memories last longer than a moment, sign up for next year's yearbook staff. Applications are available outside room 104 and are due back to room 104 no later than February 3rd. Sign up to see Mrs. H.K. in the library for more information. Classes are filling up quickly, but some spaces are still available if, if you are looking for a semester-long elective. Contact Ms. Ship in room 202 for information on the Education Exploration class. For current sophomores and juniors interested in a teaching career, applications are now available for the next year's Honors Teacher Cadet class. Again, stop by Ms. Ship's room or go to the Counseling Center for more information. Hey, Yolande, are you hungry? I sure am. Let's check in with Miss Betsy for today's lunch menu. Miss Betsy? Happy Wednesday, everybody. Oh, almost done for another week. Today we're having chicken pot pie, so come down and see us. Enjoy. Happy Thursday. Today we're having a meatball sub. Come on down and see us. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. I can't wait. Glads. The library hosts student union until 4 p.m. Check it out. You can come in and play games, work on homework, check out books, and even play Xbox. You must have a sticker on your ID. If you need a sticker, see Mrs. Price in the front office. Also, Glads, if you love reading but don't have the time to make it to the library, you can check out books online. Go to the WHS Library webpage and click on ebook and follow the directions to OverDrive to check out your books. Not only is it convenient, but you can also read your books on your phone. How cool is that? Now here is Elijah Clark with our sports update. Good morning, Glads. I'm Elijah Clark, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Both boys and girls basketball played Canyon City last night. Both teams beat the Tigers. Both teams take on Sierra tomorrow. The girls are at home, and the boys are away. Both games start at 7. Like hockey? Well, come out to the Avalanche game on Saturday, March 11th at 5 p.m. to support DECA. Tickets start at $28. Wrestling has a home meet against Canyon City tonight at 6. The Grizzlyators swim and dive travel to Palmer tomorrow for a meet at 4. Interested in becoming the next Michael Phelps? Come to the boys' swim and dive meeting on Wednesday, February 1st in room 110 during lunch. This meeting is the first step to getting a boys' swim and dive team back to WSD3. Attention, all boys interested in playing baseball. There's a mandatory spring baseball meeting in the cafeteria t tonight at 6.30. Just a reminder, spirit shirts are still available for $12 in Miss Ship's room. I'm Elijah Clark. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Back to you, Abby and Yolan. Thanks, Elijah. Glads, I think we can all agree that we have some amazing teachers at our school. Remember to recognize them by filling out a reverse power ticket. Find them in the attendance office. We'll be highlighting more teachers this Friday for, for your viewing pleasure. 
Attention, NJROTC members. The military ball is fast approaching on February 18th from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. Tickets are $15 for cadets and $20 for cadet guests. The ball will be at the Peterson Air Force Base Officers Club. Remember, access to the base requires cadets complete information ahead of time. You should also have your driver's license and student ID that night. Guest passes are now available in the front office. They are due on February 10th. Ladies, if you need a dress for the military ball, check out the dresses in Becca's closet. Contact Mrs. Molina in room 111 or Mrs. HK in the library to make an appointment. You, you can browse those dresses at lunch, on green days, or if you have study hall. If you have a dress you want to donate to Becca's closet, please contact Mrs. Molina or Mrs. HK. Students, return your scheduling forms this week so you can get the classes you really want. Counselors are currently scheduling all the best classes. Make sure you get your classes you really want and need. Attention students, especially seniors. If you need to recover credits to graduate, credit recovery applications are now available in the Counseling Center for February classes. You can complete two credits per session. Course fees are $100 per credit. Get back on track to graduate on time. GLADS, are you a fan of BattleBots? Here's your chance to watch a real live version of a robot challenge. On Saturday, February 4th, robot builders from all over the city will invade Bowers Gym. The robot challenge will start at 7.30 and go until 5 p.m. Come check it out. Now here's Abby with a special announcement. Abby? Hey there students, we're totally having a Shady's 80s dance on Friday, January 27th. Oh my gosh, ladies, here's your opportunity to finally ask that special guy to join you to the 80s inspired dance. Shut up, not sure what to wear? Oh my gosh, like watch an episode of the Goldbergs to check out the shoulder pads, acid wash jeans, and mall hair. Don't just show up in your regular clothes, as if. Tickets are totally $5 and outside guest passes are available in the main office and are due on Wednesday, January 23rd. Thanks, Abby. Sounds like it's going to be a great time. If you're planning your outfit for tomorrow, it's Flannel Thursday. Break out your best flannel and wear it proudly. Friday's dress day is neon colors. Remember, we are also having an assembly on Friday. And the winter dance that night, so style it up in the 80s way. If you want to participate in the relay game on Friday at the assembly, contact Ms. Ship in room 202. Spaces are limited, so get there first. Party, party, party's on our side. Where is the party? The party's over here. Three, A-R-T-Y, party, party's on our side. Where is the party? The party's over here. <laughs> That's our news for today. Have a great week, Glads. I'm Abby Lorbecki. And I'm Yolanda Morrison, and this was your KWHS News.